I wanted to move away from this hustle and bustle. Um, and I think this is one of the best decisions of my life. I feel personally that, you know, media industry is very hectic. Mm. Very, very hectic. And even Bombay, living in Bombay, it's super hectic, man. Um, when I moved here, I was very young. Um, I was very driven. I really enjoyed the pace of the city. It's always buzzing and I was so happy. Mm. It was like being on... Um, it was like being on a fast moving train, you know, and that you can't get off like, and you don't want to because you're like, yeah, I enjoy this space. It's like living in that high, yeah. you know, but after a point it gets to you, you know, you feel like, yeah, like it's enough. And when you get down from that bullet train, mm. you realize there is another way of living life, you know, but at that time, in some way you're enjoying it. So you don't want to be like when I was here, I was surrounded by like-minded people, creative people. Everyone was doing cool projects, big projects. You know, there was something happening around the corner and you want to be part of it. But there was also this pressure of mm. always picking up the best project or performance and stuff. Mm. But you ignore it, you know, or you're so busy enjoying it that you don't want to like concentrate on that. But that pressure definitely has, I mean, it comes at a cost, you know. Yeah. And the price is that if you want to live this life, then you'll have to make sacrifices. And um, when I was busy with work, I obviously didn't give too much priority to friends and family. Mm. You know, you neglect your physical health. Um, the stress and pressure can damage your mental health. And it starts getting to you. And I was like, it's done. I don't want to be on this fast train anymore because why should you, you know, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. So why should you do this like at all times. So uh, I said, okay, let's move to Goa and see. Mm. Uh, thankfully now, because of internet and the kind of work I do, I can function from there, mm. but it's a quite a calmer life. Yeah. You know, I'm more relaxed. It's low paced. It's not that I've retired, but I figured out a balance between my work life and my uh, personal life. Um, I save a lot of time because yeah. there's no Mumbai traffic, um, no social obligations. So all that time, uh, I prioritize and I can give it to my friends, my mm. family. I can focus on myself. I have access to nature, access to the beach. So whenever I want to take a break, I can go for a run, for a swim. I come back and I'm refreshed. So I'm enjoying this slow-paced life. And also, it's not like I've moved away um, to Goa, so I don't have any work. Mm. I mean, I'm picking up lesser projects, but I'm doing some amazing deals, working with some really amazing brands, big brands doing big projects. But yes, I'm away from the noise away from the yeah. hustle and bustle away from the yeah. media hub yeah. so it's a win win for me and uh, you know there is something you know we all have this this is cycle we hear about i think that cycle got broken in the last couple of years that people say you know you work for a certain amount of time so then you can retire and enjoy yeah, yeah, all the yeah, things yeah. you want to enjoy um but I feel one of the things that the pandemic did was really tell us in one second, what if you don't live till then, you Correct. you won't even get to enjoy it. And since so many people make that jump to say, no, this is not how I want to live or this is not the pace at which I want to drive myself. And now it also unlocks so many parts of you where you feel liberated that you can, do you feel that like it unlocked more create, creative juices out? Because suddenly like you didn't have the, you know, the hustle bustle you believe is what dri what's driving you to create more, but actually being in more peaceful sp uh, spaces unlocks so much more. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because I have more time to myself and there are so many things that I really want to do. Otherwise, you are so busy um, moving from one project to the other. And when you're here, I mean, it's also really expensive to live in a city like Bombay. Yeah. So you also are chasing money. You know, you want to pick up a bigger project because you want like a better house, a better car, all of that. Um, so in a way you're so busy doing, um, what is just available. Yeah. You don't sit back and go, you know, I actually wanted to do this in life. And this is what, um, like your passion project or mm -hmm. something. When I moved to Goa, I really wanted to create, like, I always to think that when I was a kid, I used to go for all these fairs, you mm -hmm. know, like your melas and things. And. There were so many things that were happening. They were like a circus. Yeah. You know, it's live acts and things. Yeah. I really want to do something like that with art. Like when you go abroad, you have these musicals. Like, you know, you can go and watch people perform on stage. I said, you don't do anything like that with art. 
Yeah. Why don't I create like an art show that people can sit in an auditorium and watch? Like most people enjoy when I create these larger than life uh, art pieces and installations yeah. on yeah. my show, which is just a two minute segment. What if that happens live on stage? You know, I had that time to think all of this and mm-hmm. I developed a show sitting in Goa, yeah. which was India's first travel art live show. We did yeah. shows in Chennai and Bangalore and it was a hit. And I was amazed that I could, you know, do that. Otherwise, I was just busy with like, yeah. achha, TV kar liya, abhi digital kar hai, abhi next video kaun sa, next brand kaun sa. So yes, it definitely helped me um, explore, yeah. you know, some of these things when I was um, in Goa. For more insights like this, make sure you check out the full episode.